right, so did a little bit of work. I pulled the whole engine out again uh, and repainted everything. So the engine bay is black now. The engine is black with the chrome. Um, so I think this looks pretty nice. Uh, but what I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to start working on these gauges. So I got all blue digital gauges for the inside. Um, this is the water temp gauge. I was just running it, so it's at 167 degrees still going down. Um, but I got uh, all blue digital gauges, so it'll be the tack, the water temp, speedometer, and fuel gauge. So I'll show that. So this old cluster is going to come out. The only thing that works right now is the on this is the the tack and the fuel gauge. Um, so I'm going to pull that all out and then put the digital gauges in. Probably just connect them to the back of this piece, I'm thinking, but we'll see what happens with that. I'm going to take this out and maybe, there we go, now I'll start to take the cluster out. So now that I got the four screws out, I can pull this out. There is four plugs in the back. So be careful about the wiring, I guess. So now I'll reach behind, unplug those, and I'll be good. And then there's one here. So I got all that pulled out and <clears throat> just made a little wooden frame for how I'm going to do the gauges and then I epoxied it into the, the cluster housing. So now I'm going to go through with some short strand filler and then fill in all these gaps and make everything look nice I guess. All right, and there's the uh, first batch of the short strand filler on there and it's mounted in right now on the dash. So. Kind of what it'll look like. Alright, so there it is with the other layer of filler on it. So now I'm going to paint it and throw it in. Not perfect, but I don't really care that much. Okay, so I didn't really want to spend a whole lot of time sanding and finishing this piece. So I just went over it with some spray on bed liner and it turned out okay.